Today we will discuss the various rules, regulations relating to export transaction. As you know, in India, we have FEMA 1999 Act, which is applicable to all export, import and foreign exchange business transactions in India. Reserve Bank of India has issued certain notifications, rules, regulations relating to export trade transaction and every exporter has to follow them. In case exporter is not following these regulations, it will be equivalent to contravention of FEMA and may attract very heavy penalties. Friends, if you are doing export transaction, there we will discuss today, there are rules within which you have to submit the export documents to the bank. Not only that, you have to bring the sale proceed of export transaction within a stipulated period. We will also learn today, if as an exporter, you want to open foreign currency account for some particular reason, what are the formalities? And we will discuss quite in detail the reduction which you want to give to your foreign buyer, how to handle export documents which you are sending to foreign buyer and other related issues relating to export transaction. We have already discussed that we have FEMA in India. FEMA is applicable to export transaction also. As per FEMA, we have two type of uh, international business transactions. One is called current account, another is called capital account. In simple words, export, import, they will come under the current account transaction. Capital account mean when asset in foreign currency or liability in foreign currency we are dealing, it is called capital account. And if some company want to raise foreign currency loans, it is a liability and foreign currency loan transaction comes under the capital account transaction. FEMA says exporter and importer must deal with authorized person and banks are authorized persons to handle export and import transaction. And most important part to, to be understood by exporter is if exporter is committing any violation of RBI rules, RBI regulations, RBI provisions, it will attract penalty and FEMA is a civil law and it will attract penalty and maximum penalty is three times the transaction amount. Now friends, let us try to understand rules and regulations relating to export transaction and let us start with payment. As per FEMA, it is a legal obligation of exporter to bring back export proceeds back into India within a period of 270 days from the date of shipment. And in case exporter is having a warehouse abroad, then payment should be realized in maximum period of 15 months. Not only that, every exporter has to submit export documents after shipment within a period of 21 days to the bank for collection of the payment, for negotiate of the document under letter of credit, etc. The second very important point to understand about this uh, export payment is invoice currency. As per FEMA, exporter can do invoicing in rupee, 
as well as in foreign currencies except Nepal and Bhutan. Nepal and Bhutan, we can deal with Indian rupee for export transaction. Not only that, we can invoice in rupee, for example, if as an exporter I am exporting to USA or I am exporting to any European country, provided the buyer agrees to invoice in rupee. Why? Because when invoice is done in Indian rupee, exchange risk is transferred to foreign buyer and export is a buyer market. He may not be interested to take this extra risk. But FEMA allows you to invoice in Indian rupee as well as foreign currencies, dollar, euro, pound and yen. And as per Reserve Bank survey, the maximum export and import business in India we are doing in a currency called US dollar. And friends, Reserve Bank of India has changed the rules. If you are exporting to A in Tanzania, he is the buyer you can make an arrangement that payment will be done by a company X in UK. Mean third party payment for export is allowed, but two, three formalities have to be completed. Number one, invoice will mention that Tanzanian is a buyer, but payment will be made by party X in UK and same information has to be declared on the shipping bill and if these two things are there exporter can arrange or negotiate a deal with the buyer where third party will make payment for the export transaction and friends a very important understanding for exporter is FEDA rules. FEDA rule says that exporter must get payment from the bank within two working days from the date of credit in bank's foreign currency account, which are called Nostro account. Normally, as an exporter, you give the documents to the bank. Banks send the documents to foreign bank for collection and friends, all export payments come through banking channel. This is the requirement of a FEMA. If you have exported any item, say worth $100,000, you will never ever touch $100,000 payment will be received by your bank when they receive payment in their foreign currency account in foreign country, for example, payment is in dollar, your bank will receive dollar payment in USA and dollar account in USA of your bank is called Nostro account and as per FEDA rules, within two working days, bank has to make payment to the exporter and if bank take more time, bank has to pay interest equivalent to the export finance interest to the exporter. Not only that, if exchange rate have gone against the exporter, then bank has to compensate for the adverse movement of the exchange rate to the exporter. So this is a good benefit given by FedEx to exporter. Now friends, when you do exports, you may have situation where you need extension of stipulated period. The stipulated period is nine months. Suppose you want some extension on genuine reason. Buyer want to make payment to you, but he need extension of 10, 20 days or one month. Then powers have been given to the banks to extend this export realization period. 
and in case the period of extension is required for longer periods then rba approval is required and your bank will help you to get this extension period now friends question is how our central banking authority reserve bank of india keep control that exporter from mumbai or exporter from chennai or exporter from remote area moradabad whether they are getting payment on time or not for that there is a formality of shipping bill every exporter as per law under fema when they are exporting they have to take the goods to the custom authorities custom is the final authority on goods along with the goods he has to submit the shipping bill in duplicate when shipping bill in duplicate is submitted to the customs they will return the duplicate copy to the exporter back and friends exporter has to take the goods and this duplicate copy of a shipping bill to the custom again original copy was kept by customs and they will inform the reserve bank of india about the export transaction when they will allow the goods to leave the country or let export they will mention this thing on the duplicate copy of the shipping bill and give back to the exporter and friends it is the duty of the exporter within 21 days from the date of shipment this shipping bill along with the document with the extra copy of invoice has to be submitted to a bank whether you are getting money whether you are giving document for collection and if some delay will be there as an exporter you have to explain to the bank why you are submitting the shipping bill and documents after 21 days friends we will discuss the situations and rules relating to advance payment advance payment mean when exporter is getting payment before the date of shipment an exporter can arrange advance payment from the foreign buyer with interest and without interest payment obligation if buyer want interest on advance payment given to exporter maximum rate of interest can be liber plus 1% and secondly if you are new exporter and you have received advance payment from foreign buyer within one year from the date of receipt of advance payment shipment has to be done this will be controlled by the bank who has received the advance payment on your behalf this is the condition which is a very very important secondly if you are established exporter then rules are quite favorable exporter can receive advance payment and if advance payment is more than 100 million dollar then bank will inform to reserve bank of india that such and such exporter has received advance payment more than 100 million dollar secondly exporter can ship the goods in the next 10 year this is the excellent relaxation given to the exporters and suppose you want to give refund of advance payment to foreign buyer if more than 1 year has elapsed then for refund rbi approval is required but giving a refund back of advance payment within one year no rbi approval is required with the help of the bank you can send the advance payment back to exporter 
foreign currency account for exporter is another very important area and exporters should be very clear about the rule one is eefc account it is called exchange earner foreign currency account all exporters are eligible to keep 100% of their export realization in foreign currency in these account with their banks 100% export proceed will be credited and this can be used for import of items this can be used for foreign travel expenses and any time exporter can make a request to the bank to convert the foreign currency balance in this account into rupee but there is a one very important regulation which should be very clear to exporter that credit given for example this month in this account has to be used by the last day of the succeeding month for imports for local conversion etc but if you want to use this foreign currency for your import payment after 2 month after 3 month then you have to give in writing to the bank not to convert these dollars into rupee by the last day of the next month otherwise as per rule whatever balance will be there in eefc account they will be converted into rupee by the bank secondly you will not get any interest on the credit amount in eefc account sometime big exporters they need foreign currency account in india or outside india if for meeting some business requirements for this they have to go to reserve bank of india take specific approval to open foreign currency account with a bank in india or a bank abroad lot of uh, exporters will participate or want to participate in the trade fairs exhibitions abroad they can open accounts during trade fair they can realize the sale of their items while they are participating in the exhibition and trade fairs deposit in that account only regulation is within one month from the date of clear of the ex- exhibition the credit balance in this foreign currency account has to be repatriated back to india some of the exporter want to hire warehouse abroad why because they want to send the goods there and those goods will be displayed and available in the warehouse buyers can come see the goods feel the goods if they like the quality of the goods they will purchase so warehouse facility can be used by exporters and the permission to open warehouse is given to the banks no need to go to reserve bank of india approach your bank and if your exports are more than 100000 dollar they will give permission to open warehouse abroad and if your turnover is less than 100000 dollar then rbi approval is required to have the facility of warehouses abroad and next very important point is export documents now question is as an exporter can you send the documents directly to the buyer without taking the help of banks because more banks you involve especially foreign banks the transaction will become costlier sometime to avoid the cost of transaction exporter want to send the documents directly to the buyer or the agent of the buyer best thing is take the help of your bank if you want to send the documents directly to the buyer and ask the bank to send the documents to the buyer 
this is a very risky transaction exporter is doing if he is sending the documents directly to the buyer. Why? Because with these documents, foreign buyer will take the delivery of the goods. If you have given a credit period, he may make payment on due date, he may not make payment on due date. So you are handling a very risky situation when you are giving the facility of sending documents directly, especially when you have not received advance payment or you are not having a letter of credit which says that documents have to be sent directly to the buyer. It is unsafe if you are sending the documents directly without getting advance payment or letter of credit in the transaction. Banks may allow the buyer to dispatch the documents directly to reduce the cost of foreign banks especially in the transaction it is allowed but this is bank will allow only exporters who are established exporter or having sufficient experience because banker understand giving documents directly to the buyer is a very risky transaction. Now friends, sometime you have to give commissions to foreign agents. Number one, these commissions are allowed. Secondly, it has to be declared on a shipping bill and this commission will be scrutinized by the custom authorities and if they allow it, then commission can be given to the foreign parties and it is subject to custom approval. And normally, if you are giving commission 12% or less than 12%, normally custom agrees. But if you are giving very high commissions, then you have to satisfy the custom authorities why you are giving such a high commission to the foreign party. Then question of rebate. Please understand, if you are giving any concession before date of shipment, it is called commission. And if you want to give any concession after the date of shipment, it will come as a rebate. And friends, if you are a new exporter, normally up to 25% of rebate is allowed. But if you are established exporter, then there is no limit of rebate because Reserve Bank feels if you are giving a rebate, you are incurring loss. But if you are giving any rebate, you have to make sure as an exporter that whatever incentive you have seen, you return back to the concern authorities and the rebate price may not come down to the fixed price of realization by Reserve Bank of India. The most important part is caution listed exporter. And friends, now it is automatic. For example, if your shipping bill is overdue more than two years, your name will automatically come in the caution list. And if it is coming in the caution list, then bank will not handle your document until you have received advance payment or a letter of credit. But new system is also good. If you are realizing your payment or you have taken permission, approval for extension, your either your name will not come as a caution listed. And if it has come and you have realized the payment, then your name will be removed automatically from the caution list. This is in brief. We have discussed main rules, regulations relating to export transaction and to have more understanding, more knowledge, please refer to the background material which we have given along with this session. 
we have discussed up till now the various regulations relating to export payment realization reduction how to handle export documents if you want to give some discount and rebate what type of rules and regulation you have to follow friends follow these regulations strictly because any violation of these rules will be treated as violation of fema and you will start getting correspondence from enforcement department and ultimately may lead to heavy penalties to you thanks